Hey, hey Giants. Giants! I'm Devin. And I'm Eric, and this is Season 14, Episode 7 of Red Row TV. Giants, Red Row will be hosting a PSAT and SAT next week, so there will be an altered bell schedule on Tuesday and Wednesday. Remember to order your AP exams. The last day to order is November 1st, which is this upcoming Friday. And now for a segment. Online search, documents, email, advertisements, and navigation. What do all of these things have in common? Google. We interviewed students and teachers of Redwood about their thoughts on Google and its products. The Google browser, the stuff that usually comes with it, like the docs and the sheets and like the slides. I use a lot of like their applications for school, like Google Docs and Google Slides. I mean, I technically have a Google Home Mini. Uh, it's mostly like the default kind of, and also just everyone else kind of uses them. Because they're easiest to access in elementary school, that, those are the ones they taught us to use. That's what we normally use at school. That's what we were taught on. I'd say that they make my life better, especially the search engine Google, because like if I ever need to know something quickly, I'll just use that. I think they make it better because it's easy to understand and easy to use. It just kind of saves me when I have a weird question to ask it. Possibly because Google might not have everything, whereas other search engines might have more than Google. Probably, yeah. I mean, I have experimented with other search engines, and I thought that they were like pretty useful as well. Uh, they definitely have a monopoly. Uh, they have a monopoly over, I guess, search engines. Uh, they probably have a monopoly over stuff. They're such a widespread company, and they own so much. In August, the U.S. Department of Justice ruled that Google has monopoly over online search with a 92% market share. But did the ruling go far enough? Think about your own experience. Do you have a choice in whether you use Google products? Giants, next week is Halloween and Leadership is hosting a Halloween event. There will be games and a costume contest next Wednesday and Thursday at lunch. Be sure to participate. Peer Resource is also putting on their Spooky Safe event on Halloween at lunch. Leadership is hosting a Halloween costume drive, so here's more on that. Hey Giants! With Halloween coming around the corner comes our annual costume contest. To make sure that everyone can participate if they'd like to, we're going to have a costume drive in the front office. So if you have an extra costume, go to the office and drop it off. And if you don't have a costume, go to the office to pick one up. Happy Halloween! <laughs> Hello, today I'm here with... Miss Faye. And what department are you in? I'm in the English department. And what is your hidden talent? My hidden talent is that I can pretty much fall down anything or up anything. I'm very clumsy. My family actually nicknamed me Murphy. And when did you discover this talent? You're savage. It's been there since birth. I actually, when I was in middle school, my parents moved me to a downstairs bedroom because I kept falling up the stairs. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Today I'm here with... I'm Joe Stewart, and I teach in the science department here at Redwood High School. And what is your hidden talent? Well, I am a competitive Masters Ultimate Frisbee player. Wow, and when did you start playing Frisbee? Uh, I started quite a while ago. It's probably been about 30 years getting on towards that. Nice. And why is it so important to you? Um, it, I just have a lot of fun. I know a lot of people who play Ultimate Frisbee, and I play with them, so I have a lot of friends. It's a great way to stay in shape, and it's just a lot of fun. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Today I'm here with? Uh, Nicole Plesha. And what department are you in? I teach social studies in French sometimes. And what is your hidden talent? I'm really good at swearing in lots of different languages. How many languages can you swear in? It's too many. Too More many. than one. More than one. And when did you develop this talent? Uh, when I lived in France and I worked in a restaurant with people from different parts of the world, we just um, got really good at complaining and cussing in all languages. It's a linguistic gift. Thank you. Uh huh. Can you give us an example? Basketball players. There will be a mandatory meeting for the boys basketball team after school Monday, October 28th in the small gym. And seniors, good luck getting applications in for November 1st. The College and Career Center is here if you need it. And remember, Giants, today is National Breadstick Day. 
I'm Devin. I'm Eric. And, and this, this is Redwood Red TV. TV. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are we still recording? <laughs> oh. Can you bleep it?